All right, Elena's question is, Zara, why my daughter doesn't appreciate what I have done for her, raising her on my own? Her father, who even didn't want to raise her, is welcome. It, it wasn't even, uh, sorry, 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 hang on, I lost my place. Her father, who even didn't want to raise her 50%, is welcome now, but I am not as good as he, as he is because I was not letting her do many things. And so, looks like you were a pretty strict mother. But that's not the reason, Elena. Your daughter is not feeling a vibration of love from you. That's all. Children, children always want to feel love. And she's just not feeling love from you because you're not sending her a vibration of love. You're sending her a vibration that says, why am I not included? And what that is, Elena, is a vibration of blame. You are blaming her for her behavior. And the other thing is, why should she, why should she be grateful to you for doing what you did for her when she was younger? She didn't ask you to. You did whatever you did for your children because it made you feel satisfied and you being able to say that you were a good mother. I lavish things over my children, not because, not because they need them, but because it makes me feel good. Anything that we do for our kids, we are doing it because it makes us feel like a good parent, because it makes us feel joy. So, as far as the child is concerned, they didn't ask for it. I remember <laughs> very long ago when I was living in my great big monster house, six bedrooms, huge big lot, lots of cleaning that, and I will never forget this, that one day I was thinking to myself, I have to do all of this myself. And my children never helped me. They should be helping me. And as, you know, law of attraction works, I went to YouTube and picked up a video from Abraham that said, well, guess what? Your children didn't ask you to buy this great big house. It was your decision. So now live with your decision. Why should they suddenly become responsible for an action that you took? You brought them into this house. They didn't ask for it. So guess what? You get to do the cleaning. And if you keep your vibration positive, then they will come and help you without your asking. And so that's where a huge change happened in me. From me saying they should be doing this, don't they realize that they should be doing this, helping me, I stopped asking for that. And I, I literally changed my vibration to say, I don't need any help. I can do it myself. And if they have the time, and if they want to help, they will. And they did, without my asking. So you see, a couple of things you should have picked up from that story. Number one, when you stop asking, then it comes. Because as long as you're asking, you're not allowing. Number two, whatever you did for her, you did in order to you to be happy. Nothing to do with her. So, as far as she's concerned, she doesn't need to be grateful to you. She doesn't need to be appreciative. Of course, she could be. But even in her appreciation of what you did for her, it wasn't a contract where it now requires her to return something to you, to give you something back. That's not why you do things for your children, because you want something back from them. And Elena, at the end of the day, all a child wants, whether they are 5 or 10 or 50, 
all a child wants is love from their parents and she is not feeling the vibration of love because you're not sending her love the vibration that you're sending your daughter is a vibration that says i did all of this for you and you are not you are an ungrateful child when you call a child ungrateful there's no love in that there might even be a shade of hatred in that dislike i don't like you because you're not giving me back what i gave you but you should never give anyone anything if you're going to ask for a return so at the end of the day lena your work is to love your daughter not from a place low on the emotional scale but from a place high on the emotional scale not because you want to make her feel guilty which means you are blaming her for her not realizing what you did for her that's what you're in a vibration of blame and when there is blame there is no love so until you can bring yourself back up to a place of love you cannot get love you don't find love in response to blame and you should not compare with her father because comparison is something that will always bring you down the emotional scale comparison is not a good vibration and in this case you are comparing yourself unfavorably first of all you're judging him for not having contributed towards the expenses or other things of of her upbringing to do with her upbringing so first of all you're judging him and when you judge someone you bring yourself down the emotional scale you're judging him and then you're judging her you're judging her because you're saying well you should do the math you should love the parent who spent more on you you should have a little black book where you keep your accounts of which parent did what and then you should return in like manner that's not how love works love is not about keeping an account of what you gave and what you got in return love should really be a one way street it is it, it creates um, unrealistic expectations when we say love is a two way street no it's not love is a one way street if you love someone you should love them continue loving them regardless of their behavior because like abraham says i love you not because you're lovable but because i'm a lover so i must love and elena in the way that you're looking at the situation you need to bring yourself higher up the emotional scale and actually love your daughter stay in the vibration of love even if you can't find love for her keep yourself in a vibration of love and her behavior will change because the more you keep yourself in a vibration of love then all subjects in your life will gravitate towards that vibration and everything in your life will change that truly is law of attraction and that elena is a really really good question thank you so much for that question and i hope that the response helps you to do things differently got to do things differently elena some of the things that i have done in the past to reignite love in my relationship with my children where i was having difficulty with my daughter was that i started doing this exercise i started telling myself based on what i've learned from ibrahim that my love for her is no longer pure it is tainted by her uh, interaction with me negative interaction with me i see her responses as inappropriate and so because i see her responses as inappropriate i can't love her 
the way she is today the the girl she is today the person she is today this is like when she was in her teenagers the person that she was way back then i could not have pure love for that person so i decided that i would stop looking at that person completely and i would start looking at the person who was 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 years old who was so adorable that love my love for her when she was 3 or 4 or 5 was absolutely pure it was not tainted by any she could not do anything inappropriate it was only later that i collected evidence about her inappropriateness but then i made the very wise decision to start thinking about her the way she was when she was younger and when i did that i start i started vibrating pure love again love for the 2 year old that was pure the 2 year old had never been rude to me the 2 year old had never done things that would annoy me so my love for the 2 year old was pure and even now just now in this moment as i'm thinking of my 2 year old you can see the shift in my vibration i can feel the shift in my vibration so i started using this technique of going to her hugging her holding her really tight closing my eyes and then sending love sending that hug not to the 14 year old but to the 2 year old the hug for the 2 year old was tight strong full of love pure 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 love and without my doing any other process without my saying anything to her my relationship with her changed in a very short time not because she changed well did she did change but not because she changed but because i decided to change first and when i brought myself up to a place of love then she started feeling love from me instead of feeling the the feeling that i had for the 14 year old which was you should be doing this and this and this and this and how dare you do this and this and this and this i was judging her but when i went back to pure love i stopped judging her she stopped feeling judged and then her vibration changed and her behavior changed and our relationship became stronger than ever just now your daughter does not feel pure love from you she is feeling judged and as long as she feels that way then she cannot respond to you with love so the first person who has to change is you and you need to find a way to bring love back into your relationship and you can do that by getting off the subject of thinking about her on to other things as i explained to the sneem just a short while ago get off the subject become an appreciator bring the subject in and then leave it there don't try and work too much on it because every time you try to work too much on it you actually generate negative vibration all right elena i am excited because i know you are going to do it differently this time 